Transparency of Media Ownership in Turkey Transparency of media ownership is the public availability of accurate, comprehensive and up-to-date information about media ownership structures. A legal regime guaranteeing transparency of media ownership makes possible for the public as well as for media authorities to find out who effectively owns, controls, and influences the media as well as media influence on political parties or state bodies. The disclosure of media ownership can be prescribed by generic regulation commercial law or by media-specific provision. Such measures may mandate the disclosure of information on media ownership structures to specific authorities or to the general public. Turkey has both generic company laws and media-specific regulations on transparency of the print, broadcasting, and online media outlets. Despite the existence of such laws, according to some experts, the existing regulatory framework does not guarantee the disclosure of crucial information and to know who actually owns and influences the media in Turkey. Overview Who Overview 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 Legal Framework Disclosure of ownership information of broadcast media, radio, and television is required by law No. With regard to print media, disclosure is required by the Press Law No. 5187-2004. Finally, with regard to online media, disclosure is required by Law No. 5651 on the regulation of online broadcasts and the struggle of crimes committed online and the regulation on the procedures and principles of Internet broadcasts, 2007. Law No. 6000. 112 on broadcasters requires media service providers to report ownership information. They are defined as legal entities which choose the content of the radio, television, and on-demand broadcasting services. Instead, according to the press law, ownership information have to be disclosed for media organizations publishing printed materials. Finally, the legislation on online media includes within its scope content providers Hosting service providers and access providers under Article No. 3 of Law No. 5651. They should publish their up to date information in the home page of their website. According to the relevant regulations for radios and televisions, ownership information have to be notified when a license application is made in cases of transfer of shares, acquisition and merger, changes to the disclosed information, and annually following the annual general meeting of shareholders. Instead, under the press law, information have to be disclosed before publishing a newspaper or other periodicals. Except for online media, if the information has the nature of commercial secret, it can be withheld. For instance, this was the case when the Media Ownership Monitor, a project conducted by a team of members of Bayonet, an independent Turkish press agency, and Reporters Without Borders requested information regarding the Turkish public broadcaster's TRT finances. Sanctions for non-disclosure are foreseen in the press law and in the Internet law covering only printed and online publications. Also foreign media organizations are covered by the above listed requirements. Information to be disclosed. According to the laws, the information that have to be disclosed by the information providers are Name and contact details of media organization Name and contact details of owner Country of domicile of company with an interest Citizenship slash residence status of individual with an interest Except for the online media The size of shareholding Namely, the current shareholding structure The voting shares the capital shares, the managers, managers, management details, names of the members of board of directors, names and citizenship details of general managers and managers in charge and the duties of managers, only for broadcasting media if spouses. Blood relatives and relatives in law up to the third degree are shareholders in the company. It will be indicated within the shareholdership structure considering these shares as owned by the same person. 
only for print media disclosure is required also for political religious or other affiliations of shareholder interests by owners in other media organizations and in non-media businesses experts consider that existing obligations are not sufficient to establish who the legal or natural persons who effectively own and ultimately control the media organizations are disclosure to public authorities according to the press law Disclosure of ownership information has to be made to the office of the local chief prosecutor. According to Law No. 6112 on Media Service Providers Broadcaster, their ownership information have to be reported to the Radio and Television Supreme Council, RTUC. However, experts consider that regulators have no transparent, credible, and accessible annual records on media ownership. Disclosure to the Citizens the information notified to the RTUC have also to be published by the media organizations concerned on their websites. Under the press law, the records of the public prosecutor's office shall be public and anyone can see the relevant files containing published information and documents by making an application. Information on media ownership can be obtained by the public by making a freedom of information request under Law No. 4982 on the right to obtain information which entitles individuals to request information and documents from public and publicly owned bodies. Usually, requests for information related to media ownership are raised by professionals and media institutions, while it is not common among ordinary citizens. Media service providers, radio and TV broadcasters can only be set up as joint stock companies. Only joint stock companies have to disclose information to the trade registry under the Turkish Commercial Code No. 6102. Media companies entering in the category of public joint stock companies also have to respect the Capital Market Law No. 2499-1981 and the Communique on Financial Reporting of the Capital Markets Board. These public enterprises should regularly draw financial statements to the Capital Markets Board, and annual reports should be disclosed to the public. An example of public joint stock company in the field of media is the state-run Turkish Radio and Television Corporation TRT Turkey Radio V Televizyon Kurumu. The results of a survey clearly showed that the sole enforcement of commercial law provides insufficient information regarding who effectively owns and ultimately controls media organizations. Beneficial Ownership None of the laws regulating print, broadcast, and online media requires disclosure of beneficial owners, i.e. holders owning shares on behalf of another person, or those with indirect control or a significant interest to a media authority or to the public. If the media company is established as a joint stock company, shareholding information can easily be accessed through the company's website and through the database of the trade registry. However, if shares are owned by one and actually used by another one as per an internal agreement, this information is not required to be disclosed by private or publicly listed companies, meaning ultimate ownership cannot therefore be identified. For this reason, Experts consider that a reasonable, non-technical individual would not be able to ascertain who effectively owns and ultimately controls the media organization from the information available. Influence of Advertising Financing As advertising is an important income for media providers and the allocation of advertisements may influence editorial policies or weaken certain media rather than others, Media service providers broadcasters shall report their monthly commercial advertisement income to the RTUC by the 20th day of the following month. The distribution of public funds on advertising is existentially an important source of income for smaller papers, but the relative data remain hidden. For instance, the request of information on this topic by the Media Ownership Monitor was refused by the Turkish Right to Information Assessment Council citing trade secrets as a reason. Following the coup attempt, on October 5, 2016, regulations regarding the press advertisement institution basin, Ilan Kurumu BIK, the authority managing public announcements and advertising were changed. According to this contested regulation, any news outlet that employs a journalist who is being tried on terrorism 
related charges will not be given state advertising unless the employee is fired from the media organization in five days. Civil Society Initiatives Referring to the actions to be taken at a domestic level, some experts underline the importance of encouraging public debate on media ownership and to enhance media literacy on this topic. In 2016, Reporters Without Borders, together with the Turkish independent press agency Bayanet, launched the project Media Ownership Monitor Turkey to promote transparency in media ownership and to map who owns and controls the media in Turkey by creating a public available and updated database listing the owners of the main media outlets both in another civil society initiative is the network data compiling a collective data compiling and mapping project dedicated to pursue the relations between capital and power in Turkey released on July 14, 2014.